For switches and controls, I use these products made by Keg. So Deox D5, I use on the rotary switches and wire wound pots. D5 is designed to clean metal on metal surfaces. Okay, so this removes tarnish and lubes those type of items. But then you need the fader F5. This is for potentiometers, such as the audio control. You want to make sure not to mix these. Remember, D5 for mechanical contacts, the fader for carbon type contacts. So to gain access to these wire wound pots, take your D5 and spray it in where the terminals come out. There's also a small access hole on some of these pots and you can get that cleaner inside and as you turn it you'll feel it starting to free up the pot. On rotary switches, you simply hit the contacts on the rear of the switch. Work that switch. Here's the clamper adjustment potentiometer for the Viking 2. I use the deoxit fader F5. There is an access hole. Give her a little squirt. Of course, get on top side and work that adjustment and you'll feel that pot free up. So another little tidbit of information while you're in here cleaning and lubing the chassis. Now is a great time to gain access to hard to reach tubes. Get those tested, clean those sockets. To clean the sockets, take a little bit of D5, spray it right in where the pins are at, and take a tube, insert and retract a couple times to remove oxidation. So over the years, I have used many contact cleaners on vintage electronics, but I find that nothing beats the quality of the deoxid line. I also use the D5 on wiper arms of tuning caps and the surface of the roller inductor coils. It does a great job.